Hello there, Trish, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing with you tips on how to become a dense lister, especially for those people who are incoming freshmen on their respective universities or for someone who wants to achieve and do better in their academics. Without further ado, let's start the video. Number one tip is to know what type of learner you are. Knowing the type of learner that who you are is will help you do better and learn better or accurately. So there are four main categories according to these type of learners. Number one is visual learners. Visual learners absorb information better when they can visualize it. Maps, charts, diagrams, or all the graphs presented to them, they can easily do better and learn better. When instructors illustrate or put diagrams in their lectures, visual learners may find it and remember the information much better. For number two is auditory or oral learners. Auditory learners are all ears, so they tend to learn more and do better whenever they listen to a certain recording or probably a video where they can listen to what the instructor is saying. So. Auditory learners, if this is a person like you, they tend to read and speak slowly. But when they want to absorb the information being given to them, they read it out loud or share the information to other people so they can retain the information and do better. For number three is kinesthetic learners. Or these are the learners who are most hands-on. If you want them to learn more or do better in their academics, these are the people who will tend to solve the problems on their own or do something that they can do best such as a handcraft or any practical exams where they can put their effort or put all of their hard work on it. And these are the kinesthetic learners. And lastly, are the reading and writing learners where I am part of. So these are the people who have been given a tons of essays or probably all the annotation, journals, researches, but they still do better and learn better because they are reading and writing people. Probably you're thinking, I'm two of these things or I can be all of it. And there's a combination of all those learners, but you should definitely think what you should capitalize on or what's the higher percentage among these types of learner in order for you to do better and apply it. Number two tip is don't study hard but study smart. When I tell you to don't study hard, I'm not a bad influence. What I mean by saying study smart is you should know what type of exams are you going to take. Probably there's an identification, modified true or false, essays, and the list goes on. Knowing what type of exam your instructors will be giving to you will help you determine the type of reviewers you should create. So for identifications, you should probably create a listings of words like annotations or keywords that you can use to memorize it better or for essays you should familiarize yourself with the topic so if there is a certain topic that's given to you you can easily write your thoughts accurately because you have learned it moreover you can also study smart by knowing what coverage is given to you of course not all professors will be giving the coverage of exams some may have surprise quiz what i mean is there are professors who requires to study only on chapter one or only on chapter two only on these topics so you could focus on it but traditional does it mean na yun lang yun dapat kong aralin kasi yun lang yung binigay sa amin no for number three tip is familiarize yourself with the topics when i tell you to study smart it's an easier way to not waste your time on studying book for book or chapter per chapter because you're saving your time for most important things. Familiarizing yourself with the topics will help you remember it even if you're not actually reviewing all of the things you need to. So familiarizing yourself with the topics given to you will be a key factor for you to do better. So as for me as a marketing student or as a future marketing professional, there are fundamental topics that I should keep inside my heart and to not forget about it even if I 
graduate. Number four is to don't be afraid to ask question. A person who asks a question is a fool for a minute, but a person who did not ask a question is a fool for life. So this means that probably you're a person who is afraid to ask a question because it might seem as if you don't know anything. Probably you don't know anything at first, but you will surely learn something new if you ask that question. So in college, hindi po pwede na fake it till you make it. If you don't understand a certain topic or if you don't understand something, you should ask away. Number five tip is to be organized with your to-do list. When I tell you that college is a series of endless nights, coffees, back aches, and heart aches, I'm not kidding. There will be a time where all the professors will give you the project all at once and i'm not even kidding it seems like they don't have a group chat where they can say that Pwede ba ako muna? Tapos later na kayo because this is my project probably they don't have that and with that being said you need to be organized with your to-do list because you will end up looking at your list fully back probably you can feel overwhelmed with a lot and ton of things or activities that you should accomplish which is why you need to be organized and do first what should be done first for me naman personally what i want to do is the things that i can easily do so when i look at my to-do list all the things that are easier to do are already cro crossed out or probably naman is yung mga mas mauna yung deadlines is what i want to finish first so with that Mas now organize mo yung to-do list mo at the same time is hindi ka na overwhelm sa super dami mong nakikita. Okay? Number six tip is to have your own study place. It is really important that you have your small space. It doesn't necessarily need to be a big space where you can do all the things that you want. A small corner will do. So what I meant by having your own study place is a place where it is well lighted, well ventilated but not so comfortable why does it need to be not so comfortable because if your study place is so comfortable that you might end up sleeping then what's the sense of having a study place at for in the first place right and for my seventh tip for the last tip that i have for you is focus on your motivations so staying motivated in college is really important for you to focus on your goals as for me i have focused myself on doing better and achieving things beyond my limits because of my inspirations in life my family or my parents by thinking of their hard work and sacrifices it helped me to achieve better and aim for bigger things in life so i hope you look for your motivation and find your inspirations in life and use it for your own good and for you to achieve and become a dance listener. There are tons of things that I haven't discussed in this video. So if you want to know more about doing or achieving things or about the USD life or marketing life, don't hesitate to comment it down below. And I hope you learned something new today. So comment yeah if you were able to be a dance listener because of these tips. Always remember to there. So see you on my next one. Bye!